Our window today shows the scourging of Jesus, the Roman centurion or soldier behind him. And of course, the words there, what evil has this man done, is a quote from one of the others who hung with Jesus in crucifixion. You'll see the pillar of flagellation, as it's sometimes called, the sponge that was put with sour wine to Jesus' lip, and the spear that pierced his side. The next window shows the crowning with thorns. Remember that idea of Jesus as king goes all the way through the New Testament. The Magi were looking for the newborn king of the Jews. Jesus tells us to pray, thy kingdom come. Many of Jesus' parables begin, the kingdom of God is like. He is our king, crowned here with thorns. And the famous Ecce Homo that Pilate will speak, behold the man when he brings Jesus outside to the crowd. We see below the hammer, the nails, and the crown of thorns. This window shows one of the falls of Jesus as he's carrying his cross. Behind him is St. Simon of Cyrene, which would be in Libya, North Africa today. Underneath, we have one of the quotes that Jesus says on the way while he's carrying the cross to the woman there. Weep not for me, but for thyself. And below, we have the famous veil of Veronica. The name Veronica means true image, reflecting according to tradition, the face that Jesus imprinted on her veil. Our cross here, of course, shows Jesus crucified and the holy woman underneath awaiting him. You'll see I-N-R-I on the cross, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. It is finished, one of the seven last words or phrases that Jesus speaks from the cross. And interestingly, in our church, the symbol under this window is probably confused with another window. The butterfly is traditionally a symbol of the resurrection and would better fit under that window. 